well, let me say first and foremost, um, so that this so that this does not um, in, end up in a situation where we focus on personality. That includes Sam Rafford. This is really an effort of the district parent coordinating council. And for those of you who were at the May 3rd meeting, you saw the parents that were there and you saw them vote to support this issue. And so let's always keep the issue so that in case something happens to an individual, we don't want the movement to be focused on the person. We want to keep it focused on the parents, the goals of the parents, so that if people change, we can keep the movement going. So that's the first and foremost. This is about the district parent the next thing that we want to be very clear about, because so many people are going to try to make this be about our attack on the superintendent, our attack on the Board of Education, our attack on state ed or whoever. We have said from the beginning, without any question or doubt, we are not focused on any individual. No matter who the superintendent is, we have a responsibility as parents to work in partnership with the superintendent. We have a responsibility as parents to work in partnership with the Board of Education, to work in partnership with all those education stakeholders. So we are not part of any conversation that talks about an attack on an individual. We are only a part of conversations that talk about how we all come together and we work for the best interest of all of our children. Right. What we want to do is we want to make it very clear about what our vision is, what our interest is as a, as a district parent coordinating council. Um, we have figured out a long time ago that there's no one of us that's smart as all of us. So we're not trying to come up with all the answers. We don't propose, to profess to have all the answers. But we do know that even though we, it is not about us, it can't happen without us. You see, so we have to be part of the process as parents. And up until now, we have not had the meaningful participation that we know we need in order to advocate on behalf of our children. Clearly, we know that there's almost nothing you do where everybody supports everything. But we are not against any parent who makes a choice to send their children to school on Monday. Right. If, your parent, if, if you believe that's what you need to do, you do that. We are not against them. But what we are saying is that some of us have to stand up for all of us. Right. It's not enough that just our children are doing fine. Right. Because the reality is, even if your children are doing fine today, if you sit back and watch children around you not be all right, eventually them children are going to affect your children. And so if, you, if you're good and you're comfortable where you're at, fine. God bless that. But what we're asking you to do is don't come against other parents. Because we ain't going to ever come against you. If, you. if you're doing what's best with your child, great. But don't, don't spend energy attacking the efforts of us that's fighting for all of us. Because we fight for you because any benefit we get, all parents are going to benefit from it. from the shoes of the people that they talking about. That's right. That's so right. if you are not walking those shoes, please stop criticizing people. Because the criticism does not change their reality. That's right. So here's what, we, here's what this is about when it's all said and done. When it's all said and done, this is about solutions. All the organizations that are standing behind us, like, like some of them said, we don't all agree on everything. And you know what? We probably won't all agree on everything. But what we can do is identify what we do agree on. That's right. And we can agree that all of us are valuable and have something meaningful to contribute. And we can commit to a solution. And so that's ultimately what this direct action campaign is about. Monday is just the beginning of the direct action campaign. Right. It ain't the thing. We ain't, if everybody don't show up Monday, then we, that's the first stage of it. Because then we're going to be right back at them on June 1st, talking about how we get everybody to the school. Right. You see, then we're going to be right back at them again until we get all in the room together and we come up with a system that works for everybody.